okay so dear student let us uh, read this question now two forces of magnitude 12 newton and 24 newton act at the same point which force cannot be the resultant of these forces okay so this question is from uh, vectors and um, what happens here is there is a very beautiful concept here you can you can see here let us say this is the body and this force is acting in the forward direction and there is another force which is acting in the backward direction or it's, it's not like that although the question says that the two forces are acting on the body the direction is not known to us so it could be anything so the case number one is that both of the forces are acting in the same direction yes yeah, so the resultant will be given by f plus f and if we talk about another case when the f is acting in the forward direction and this force is acting in the backward direction the resultant will be f minus f now here the angle is zero degree and here the angle is 180 degrees but what if the angle is between zero and 180 if it is an acute angle if it is obtuse but lesser than 180 what will happen then well the resultant otherwise will always lie in the range of f minus f and f plus f so whatever is the resultant like for example if the forces are at 90 degree so the resultant will lie in a range this will be maximum this will be minimum so if it is 12 and 24 so i can say that 36 will be the maximum value and 24 minus 12 that is 12 newton will be minimum so 16 can be 19 can be 36 can be but 10 newton cannot be so our answer will be a that the resultant can never be 10 because it can never be lesser than 12 newton so it's a very simple concept from the vectors um anyways this is how we do it so with this all the best Bye.